my wife starts bumping me because the dog just continually keeps growling. He's up in the windowsill. He's just growling, 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 and he won't stop. And she keeps nudging me. She says, get the dog to lay down. He won't stop. That's the sound he was making, just louder and louder up in the windowsill, and he did not want to come out of the windowsill. He's just persistently standing up there, nudging, growling. She takes a look out the window, and she's like, oh my god, there's a fire. Me and got over there and told my wife, you go ahead and uh, wake up everybody on this side of the building and the neighbor upstairs to wake up everybody on the other side of the building and um, be persistent, you know, don't stop pounding until you get everybody out. Everybody's got to come out. The fire was underneath the uh, porch right here is where it started. And I was literally like right here spraying this fire, trying to contain it this way because it was actually with the wind spreading this way. And this, at the time, this tree was in full bloom. So uh, lots of leaves and everything. And I was in fear it was gonna spread to this tree and then it would go to the next building over. If he wouldn't have been so persistent, the fire department said the place would have been burned down in probably 15 minutes. Woo, slow down. Slow down, excited. It's funny because you know I'm six foot five, 260 pound guy, and I got this little two or three pound chihuahua with me. And <laughs> you know, I honestly never thought I could love a dog so much as I love this dog. He's he's just such a cute little dog. What? 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 Everybody in that complex met him. They all came over and they were all petting him and so excited that he was the hero. That he he got us up and that we were able to get everybody out. He truly was a hero that morning. Mm -hmm.